So from within the Brother Panther tool we have the options of launching other DBI products. We have two options. Well in fact we have three if you include the admin console. We are interested in Brother Thoroughbred at this stage so by clicking on the horse's head we can launch into Thoroughbred. We have to select the appropriate database here which happens to be the DBI POC DB so if we select that our Thoroughbred is launched. We are presented with a screen showing us transaction times both inside and outside the database. We can also see transactional events and the time frames. There's also an SLA section. The SLA section is a breakdown of transactions into the execution times. So if we click on that, this pie chart shows a breakdown of all the execution times and whether they fall within SLA levels which are stated we leave this page or defined within this section here so you can define your SLAs and you can also then look at whether the, we are meeting our SLAs and what percentage of the SLAs are being met but interestingly from our perspective what we want to look at here is the pie chart over it it is a breakdown in visual format of the transactional distribution so it's a clear indicator of where transaction time is taking place we can go as far as clicking into the pie chart which is, uh, opens up the impacting statements in the brother panther tool so as you can see we uh, minimize this we can clearly see that the impacting statements opened up from within the pie chart are these that are presented in front of us and interestingly there's a flag statement here which seems to be the one that we looked at in our earlier demo of Brother Panther we looked that up yes that is the one with the 99% improvement of one recommended index but we're not going to cover our old ground here what we'll look at at this stage are the performance trends and how we can measure trends and present trends to the uh, the clients in a readable kind of fashion so by right clicking on the, this particular statement we can move on to viewing performance trends here we're presented with a screen where we can make some selections so we want to look at the time, the CPU time over a period uh, it's going to be in the format of a line graph so what we'll change here is the, the start time so I want to track back to uh, say June select that if we just OK here we're presented with a screen which shows the CPU time over a period of a few months so as you can see the CPU time is it, it, going upwards it's going down it, it changes as the workloads are changing another interesting point here to note is this change here what this signif signifies is that a change has been made it's not a physical change if, if an index had been changed we would see a blue triangle but here we can see that some sort of change has been made and you can you can go deeper into this if we double click that it brings up a screen which highlights what the change was or the object that has been changed and it was a DBM config so the database manager has been changed if we again click on that this will tell us that the attribute change was the default monitor and buffer pool the old value was on it has been turned off so this is not a significant change but what, the, what I'm trying to show you here is that you are able to make changes to the database or the database environment for example physical changes and other changes like memory changes and they will be highlighted here they will be shown to the user to the DBA and presentable to the client that yes improvements are being made and we can trend this so a really nice feature of this product so in today's demonstration we looked at the DBR Brother Thoroughbred product and how the product allows you to look at the inside outside times for transactions how you can change your time frames, your start and end times how you can define your SLAs and also check on whether you're meeting your SLAs where, where all transactions are falling within certain parameters but the most interesting thing we looked at today was how this pie chart when clicked upon can go directly and directly link to the Brother Panther product. I think the whole beauty of the DBI product suite is the fact that they, the products are directly linked to one another. So you can launch from within Brother Panther, Thoroughbred, Eagle and the admin console 
and they're all tightly integrated together. So that more or less concludes our demonstration today and please look out for further demonstrations.